Hey peeps, Sarah here from Sparrow Springs and we are moving into some drawing stuff today. So I'm going to give you just a very basic introduction to how I approach drawing. So I'm going to be doing a portrait of a horse and honestly there's so many different ways that you can approach drawing so like i said this is just my way so if you're new here subscribe to my channel so you can keep up on all the different parts of this particular drawing and let's get started all right guys so i've got something a little different today i'm going to be working on a drawing so um first of all let me just show you what i have here i've got my picture references I'm going to be working on a portrait of a horse, obviously. I've got two different erasers. I've got a kneading eraser, and then I have just a standard eraser too. So there's different purposes for these, and I can get into that later. Um, I've got my pencils. I will be starting with a 2H because I'm gonna have a lot of negative space in this, so I want to make sure that everything is very clean and easy to clean up. Um, I've got just this, and I this brush, it's just a very uh, soft brush that I use to just sweep off uh, eraser shapings without smudging the drawing. Um, obviously pencil sharpener, I'm gonna need that. And then this is a handy little doodad. So basically this is just a thing of sandpaper that when my pencil gets dull, then I can just sharpen it right up again. So that's super helpful. I have four different picture references here. And so the reason why I use multiple is because sometimes I want to pull different elements from each picture. So you know, I like the, the head positioning on these two, but I want the ears forward. Um, I like just the, the way the body is positioned, like that straight on on this one. And then this one is a good reference for like the eyes and stuff. So just different, different things that I'm pulling from different portions of the picture. My camera won't focus. So I have kind of a light line down here just for, just to kind of give myself a basis so I'm not working all the way to the edge. So this is going to be split up in kind of a series of videos and the um, this first video is going to be just laying in a basic sketch. So notice that I'm not going to be copying anything. I'm just I'm referencing um, these different photos. So let's get into it. Now, first of all, as with all drawing, um, you want to make sure that your proportions are, are correct. Now, you should know kind of basic anatomy of whatever you're drawing, but there's some little tips and tricks that you can use that kind of apply to everything. So, you know, in the movies, like sometimes they'll do this while it's like, oh, I'm comparing with my thumb, whatever. <laughs> and there actually is something to that. So it's like I'm going to be comparing, for example, the head on this one. So I know that the width across from the head is roughly two, um, two up and down. So the, the width is two on the length. One here, and then roughly two to get my length. So I can use these little tricks to get my proportions somewhat in line. Apparently my camera wants to see more of my messy desk. So I know that horse has more of this kind of box-like shape here. That's something to note a lot of times is when, I mean, like I said, I think I've said this before, that art is mostly observation. So noticing these shapes in here. So I've got that kind of triangle forehead or kind of that pyramid. So that's what I'm going for on all these. And then these cheekbones usually come fairly straight down. So, and then just how far do these cheekbones come down? It's like, right, probably about half from the eyes. It all depends on the tip of the head. So I'm just gonna keep sketching in and sh just see how I feel about the shape. And let's get that nose in there. And then something else to note about the nose 
you've got that shape where it kind of curves around for the nostrils. So your, your nostrils are slightly in from the cheekbones and then it kind of comes up into that forehead. And it does kind of splay out once you get to that point. Now that's different on every horse. So it's, it is kind of sort of up to interpretation a little bit and we'll kind of refine these as we go. I just want to get kind of basic proportions and shape in here. So then I've got kind of that jawbone that comes in. Okay, and then my neck. Again, this kind of varies on the horses and whatnot, but you can kind of see that on all three of these, they're kind of coming out from that cheekbone. Keep that center line in there. Uh, ears will kind of come off. Now I like kind of more of that straight line kind of looking back. So I don't want kind of, I don't want the hindquarters to come up too far. So I'm mean, going to assume kind of the top of those nostrils is where we're going to be sitting. Because I like, I like the angle of this one probably the best. So that's the one I'm going to pull from. So you've kind of got that spine that comes up and then down to the hip. And they usually have a nice big barrel belly in there. Now notice I'm keeping everything super light for now. I can darken up some of these lines in just a bit here, but I'm also keeping my lines really loose um, just because I don't want anything too set in stone right now. Um, let's talk about shoulders. Now most of them, their shoulders are kind of between that neck and that belly barrel line. So let's kind of kind of like the neck and the shoulders are more of that one unit kind of deal. Now this is probably want to bring that in a little bit more because if I'm looking at him more straight on, I'm not going to get as much of that fan out. So let me just bring, bring that in a little bit. Get more of a, a narrowish horse in there for composition's sake. quarter in there. See, that's the nice part is once you see kind of how everything works, you can pull those proportions how you want them. Whatever you think looks best to you. That's why we have several references because we can look at them and see, okay, is this within the line of normal here? So let's flush out more so on the face here. Now ears are always something that kind of, uh, evades me <laughs> in a sense. So I know that basically ears work like little tubes of horse flesh. <laughs> so I just need to get them pointing in the right direction. But usually the ears come off of this slant on that triangle into the head. And so I'm gonna, I'm going to just do little tubes just for now, just to kind of block in where I want them. And the size of the ears also depends on the horse. So it's really kind of a matter of preference and taste. So this one has kind of more, um, I would say wider ears. Um, and this one has more like kind of skinnier, longer kind of ears. So let me let's see, since I want them pointing forward, I kind of want to reference this one more and I kind of like the, the shape, but maybe I'll just thin them out a little bit. Let's grab kind of a comparison here. Okay, so from here to here. So 
about the length of my ear. Just for reference. It <laughs> looks pretty goofy, but that's okay. <laughs> Get that nice little curve in there. It's absolutely crazy just how diverse you can get in just proportions and whatnot. Okay, so he's got some kind of wrinkles in there. Try not to get too detailed, but... noting that those have edges there. Okay, now let's kind of come in. I can always flesh out those ears more later as I continue. <laughs> so the head kind of does this kind of a thing. It does come in just a little bit, but you've got the pole of the head up in there. Now, for kind of the forehead, you've got this kind of general feel to it where the bone structure kind of creates this, these little divots so that leading to the eye sockets, you've got just that bit of a flare in there. Okay, so you've got the eyes. There's usually kind of a hole in the skull above that, above their eyes. And it's funny because when horses chew, you can actually see these little divots um, moving up and down, just the way everything is kind of functioning in the horse's head. <laughs> Let's get these eyes in here. I like horses with kind of the large, intelligent eyes. Kind of get the sense of that shape in there. Very, very round is what I'm going to go for here. I can already see I've got a little bit of inconsistencies in here. There we go. Let's get the little eyelid over there. I just want to get the sense of just that, how the eyelids wrap around their eye. Let's see, am I on center here? I don't think so. This one's a little low. Or this one's a little high, I think. some down just a tad so much observation like the more you can catch now the easier it'll be later on okay I'm getting a little too fixated here so moving on that's the thing is sometimes if you focus too much on one area you almost make it worse so I will come back and fix this in a second here so I'm gonna just move down uh, let's take a look at that nose. So I want, so this kind of shape up in here leads more into that ridge line right on the nose. So a lot of horses, you'll actually see that divot 
right in their skull down the nose line. And then when you kind of get into here, it fades into all that cartilage and muscle and everything. So I would say that break in the bone probably happens right around there. And then we're going to come into all this muscle. cheekbones are about the same. Yeah, right there. And you can see that as I go over this more and more, uh, the my lines tend to get darker where I'm more sure that's where I want my line to go. Okay, so nostrils, I need to decide what I'm doing here. Ah. Uh, Let's keep following more along this line. So he's got his nostrils that flare out quite a bit here. I love horses that just have that big expressive kind of design to them. And the eyes might be a little bit big on this guy, but we're going to... I'm going to take it step by step here. I mean, this horse actually does have quite large eyes. I know Arabians tend to have more of that um, observe, like observative kind of nature to them. Okay, so we want nice big round nostrils here that kind of come into the lips a little bit here. And you can see the contrast isn't the greatest on this, so I can't really reference that as much. Uh, but as I'm looking at this, I don't think my nostrils are coming up far enough because I'm running out of room kind of for my the horse's lips here. So let's actually bring that up. Uh -oh. Okay, so Arrow woke up and that's okay. Um, this will just kind of force me to <laughs> not be so detailed right now. So I really just want to block in a general shape that I am happy with in composition wise. And so looking back at these nostrils, so now I just have a <laughs> handy dandy little trick when I'm drawing when Arrow's awake is I just tape everything down so he can't grab it and then it steadies it more for me. But okay, now a lot of times, let's look at this real quick. The nostrils on the horse kind of come up no cords. No cords. Okay. Sorry. One more adjustment. There you go. Find out what you need to do later on. <laughs> so, okay. On this one, which I think this is the angle that I'm more focusing on, the nostrils kind of come up to the bottom of that jawline. And actually this one kind of does too. So these two angles are the ones that I'm really more focusing on because um, I want that head tipped upwards more so than down. So if I've got my jaw bones coming in here, so their nostrils are going to be about up there. There, that kind of fits the angle a little bit better. I know. It's just awful. Little baby hands can't grab everything. Okay. Now I'm just blocking in quick here. <laughs> then we usually got the lips that come in more down here. And then that bottom lip is usually not as pronounced at this angle, so let's just bring it in. Nostrils are way too big. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not going to get super detailed right this second.
Okay, let me just remove some of these little lines in here. All right. Let's just refine a couple things in here because that jawline comes in kind of like that. Just make sure we're even across. And then we've got kind of top of that cheekbone kind of coming in here. there just blocking in Let's see now I'm feeling like this comes out too far skinny up his face a little bit there Okay, so the skinniest part of that face is going to be kind of right in here. So let's try and capture that a little bit. And that's the same thing on this one too. So right above those nostrils, which if you point their head back, it would be kind of right in there. Do I sound like I know what I'm talking about yet? That's okay. There's people at all different levels, so if you can't learn from me, you can learn from someone else. Okay, I'm going to stop fixating too much on the head right now. Let's just grab a couple, couple things in here. I've got kind of that windpipe of the horse, that throat that comes down into the chest. And we're going to keep that middle line in there. And then his shoulders kind of come in on either side. And then because I'm a weirdo, I just kind of want to block in the hair. I love blocking out hair. <laughs> Horse's hair is like some of the funnest stuff to draw. Now I have to kind of decide what I want to do here. Now I do I always like horses where the, the forelock kind of just kind of comes in off to one side. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm just going to do something like this. Now this is really just kind of something that comes with practice. Um, I, there's, there's so much that comes by practice, but <laughs> Hair is one of those things where I've done it so much that I just, I have kind of a method to it now. And let's have some of that hair draping over the eye a little bit. Oh, I know, buddy. I know. Let's do something like that. And actually, let's bring this down a little bit more. I'll make it a little longer towards the middle. Bringing a couple more pieces here. Then we get some stray pieces in here. We have the bit that flips over the side. And horses are not perfect, so they usually have a few stray pieces. Okay, and then do we want the mane off to the side? Probably. It's not... I don't want it like totally wind whipped, kind of like that wild one. But let's see, let's... Let's have some just kind of draping off to the side, kind of bringing in more of this reference. usually layers of it. So let's just bring just like that. 
give him a little bit of a longer mane because we like hair. Hair's fun. Okay, so I have a very, very basic sketch. And then in the next video, we'll go more into refining that sketch and just kind of um, making sure we're satisfied with where everything is sitting before we really flesh it out. So I'm just going to erase a couple of these lines really quick. And that's that. All right, peeps, thanks for watching. Once again, if you have not subscribed, make sure you do that so you can catch part two of this series. And uh, I'll see you later, peeps.